All right, my question for you, Jan, is uh, since you got in, since you were voted in here four years ago, have you taken any trainings? Training as far as um, anything to do, any type of training, any type yeah, of training as a trustee or as a board member or as any type of. I'm sure I've been to um, seminars. You have? Mm -hmm. Is there a you've record been, of that? You've been to MTA thing. I don't believe yeah. you ever took any. I don't think you ever well, took a, a trustee class, though, did you? Uh, that's still a training. Not necessarily. The MTA on the road isn't necessarily training. Yeah, but they have I, seminars. It doesn't fit your FOIA. I can adjust the FOIA. Make and then what? what? At the, you same, know, you time, know what at the same time, is what you're asking is not stuff that exists. And I am not required by FOIA to dig out the information that you want. I understand. So there you go. So but if a record it. exists, then you do have to provide it. If it exists. Okay. So did you go to a training, Jan? Did you do an online training? I've done um, online trainings on several different things. Okay. How did you register for these trainings? Michael registered me online. Okay. So like, would you, do you think in your opinion, a receipt of your registration is like a proof of your training? He's shaking his head no. So I'm no, not he's shaking his head no. So he's just trying to deny that there's any record of your training. I'm not saying we're, that, that, we're, there's I'm a disagreement. I'm just saying that, that I don't have to dig those records out. You if, can't make a broad statement like that and call it a FOIA. Is that email going? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, I'd also like a copy of the budget. Fine. I think, I think it's out there on the table. There's one maybe out there on the table. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd also, I'd also like some, I'd like 10 copies of the a paper FOIA request since the FOIA request I'm sending you, you're no longer acknowledging. So the ones I'm, you're selling are sending are verbal. Huh? The ones you're sending me are verbal. You're not sending me any forms. All I'm you're saying, doing, I'm, it's it's you're email, is written, email. email is written. That is that fulfills. That is that. So, that that's so written. what I mean, I'm not acknowledging them. You haven't responded with an acknowledgement of any of the, of you, most of them. I acknowledge to the first ones and the other ones I'm still within my five days. The ones I haven't acknowledged you've sent on Friday and then the ones that you've sent today. I've sent you 19 FOIA requests. For the 15 of them were on Friday. And there was many before that too. But not the, one, the ones that I sent, I replied to and sent you a certified letter with my replies to those. Okay, I haven't got the certified letter, I don't know. Well, so, it should come to your house, or you should get a note for certified pickup. Yeah, I did. I got a, I got a notice or whatever. Okay. So, I didn't know what it was. I, I don't know what it was. It was a certified. It would have said what it was from. So yeah, you could it's have like made some shit. guess. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that's not my business whether you pick up the right thing or no. not. But no, you I can't say no. that I have not fulfilled the requirements. No, I'm just saying about the ones that I've sent recently, and if you're and not that's gonna, Friday. There's five some, days to acknowledge, there's ten some, days to extend. I understand. Yeah, I understand too. You're telling too. me the rules that I know already. I'm not already. telling you the rules. Yes, I'm, you are. I've I got just, 101 I, emails here that tell me what, how to do my job. I requested a copy, a paper copy, just so I could write it, fill it out and paper. And, that, and my reply is in that certified letter. Okay. And that had my cost analysis with it. But since I was able to find out that I could send you the digital copies, that's yep. how you got them already. So. And that's what I requested was the digital copies. I know, but I did so. not consider that those were the accurate ones unless I scanned the hand-signed copies. Okay. But that did not end up being true. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I'm glad that it was not true because that's not what I needed. Um, so, great. So the next day, Jim, how are you doing? Doing all right. How are you? No, I'm, I'm doing okay. Um, I had to take time off work because I was told I was going to be charged $78 to get this FOIA request fulfilled. Oh, I wasn't aware you were working, so. Yeah. Oh, well, I've been working for a long time. I've been working for the post office and then I stopped working but at the post office. And I have a different, better paying job. Good. Yeah. So what's up? So, um, I made the phone call, I, I sent an email, I made a phone call about uh, inaccurate recordings of the, the meetings minutes. Um, you both, I'm sure you guys have spoken about this. It had to do with the planning commission meeting uh, with Lisa McKenzie when she spoke up and she said something about some man from the township had come and accosted her on her property. She wanted to know who it was. 
Michael had replied and said, no one from the township had come to your property and did that. I promise you that. You said, actually, I did visit there. And then Michael said, I retract my statement from there, right? So that's the, the gist of it. Remember that conversation? She tell you why I stopped by there? I'm not asking that. I am asking Michael to, he put in that you replied to that and said that you were welcoming her to the community. That's correct. That's not what you said. I stopped by there for a welfare check. Why didn't you say that in the meeting? I don't recall. One thing you have to know about the minutes is the minutes are my minutes. Right. So you and how I listen to me, please. Sure. I I'm had sorry. the. It is my interpretation of what I hear that I put down in those minutes, and when those minutes are approved, they are approved by the board. If there are changes to them, they get made at the time. There are no changes going to be made afterwards. That's all right. I will just post the audio for everyone in the township to hear. It doesn't matter to me. Well, Let them don't. listen. I will. We're not trying to hide anything. No, but you're but posting my posts, minutes. You're posting my false minutes. They are my minutes. Right, but it's a falsification of a record, Michael. That that would that's be something not a court would have to That's decide. not what was said, said at the meeting. That's not what that, was said. So that, that makes I'm me wonder. Not that something makes, I'm going to argue about. That makes me wonder what other things in the meeting minutes that are being recorded inaccurately. And I thought, wonder all you want. Well, that's why I keep all your recordings. Wonderful. Don't let the Only facts interfere with your story, though. I'm not letting the facts interfere with my story. Yeah, well. There's your uh, the recording for the previous meeting. It cost four bucks on the flash drive. Thank you for that. And then I also, I, I mentioned to you that uh, I want you to please not delete any more of the auto recordings. I'm We're not going to be recording any farther. You're not going to be the meetings anymore. No, I never use them, so I decided, nope, we don't need to use them. The only time we need to use the recorder is if I'm not there to take them out. Not required. You guys can keep the change. You probably no, need it. You're fine. I can only charge you what it costs. That's how the trouble works. You know that. Thank you, sir. Would I got to get like a receipt. Yes, please. I can't write a receipt, Jim. I'll have to mail it to him. I can't write a receipt in the treasurer's books. Okay, gotcha. Well, he's, I mean, he mentioned it. Separation of duties by the auditor. Gotcha. All right, well, I think I got what I needed. You resent the email? I'll have to look at that. I was just, I mean, I don't know. It shouldn't have taken over 30 days to get those PDFs. Honestly, I'm just, you know, I I'm understand that that did go on a while, and it was because yeah. of all of my own. No and then, okay, so I mean, that's my end about the records inspection. So now I just want to talk to Jim Herzog about. Uh, I called you about, uh, I talked to you on the phone Friday I, uh, oh, about Art Gallup uh, and being the zoning administrator and how he failed to do his duties in the light of sign of light, uh, line of sight on my property. Jim, I'm speaking to you. I'm listening. Okay, well, you just turned away from me as I'm speaking. Yeah, so I'm not entitled to do that? I. I look at people when I'm speaking to them and stuff, but sure. Um, I didn't know there was guidelines of what I should and shouldn't do. No, that's I, I, okay. I go for so, it. So I'm just wondering about uh, why a line of sight was not conducted on the A-frame properties of Jeff Chambers lot 57. I can't speak for him. For and the, I won't. For the zoning administrator. I won't. I Is wasn't that what you're saying? There. I wasn't there, and I won't speak for him. Okay. Is there a requirement of a line of sight on lakefront property if there's no houses to one side your line of sight you're referring to the bay the lake the bay side for obstructive lake, lake huron yeah yes there is a line of sight it's in the ordinance and you're well aware of that uh-huh so if the, yeah so there is a requirement you can't obstruct your neighbor's view. Okay. Well, his buildings stick out 25 feet in front of my foundation in front of the lake. I haven't been on your property. I can't say that. I can't. Well, if, whoever okayed the prop, whoever okayed these buildings to be there should have noticed that right away, that they were 25 feet in front of my foundation. Mm -hmm. So there's a major oversight here. It's more than an oversight. So I'm just curious, and then now he has a fence that's six feet high. So he filled in his land. His land's two feet higher than mine now. And then he put a six foot fence up and it's blocking the lake too. Not aware of that. Well, you are now. 
No, I'm not. I'm only taking your word for it. I have photographs. Do you want to see the photographs? No. Or you don't want to see the photographs because you don't want to be aware of it? I will go over there and look at it personally. <clears throat> when? At my convenience. Okay. And, uh, when you're over at the end of my road taking photographs of my house... I have not taken photographs of your house. Okay, that what you said... Don't even imply that. No, I... They, you said no. You said you were taking them of the A-frame, but you were standing in front of. Them, like, You're making implications that are not true. You did. My house was right in front of where you took the fifth photograph, sir. Yeah. I was right there. You went to the end of the cul-de-sac, right where my house is, and you took a picture. And you said you were taking a picture of the A-frames, but if you were taking pictures of the A-frame, I don't know. I'm just curious. So if so, you weren't. You weren't taking pictures. No, of, okay. If I did, I'd let you know. Okay. Yeah, I'm just curious. You guys ready to leave? Yeah, it's one o'clock. Yep, thanks you for your time. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good Look rest of your day. To it. Stop doing it again. I will. I'm at it's in a really time crunch though, so it makes makes it really tough to do this, but uh when I after my sixty days at the new job, I will be able to come here more frequently. So thanks, have a good rest of your day. Have a good day, Penny. Bye-bye, you too. Thanks.